No, Tommy, it's my first time. Never been to Lanzarote. Hit do us a favour, start hitting the like button. Apparently it wakes people up, so. We've got two on at the moment. I'm just waiting for a couple more to join us and then I'll start walking. Now it's first time in Lanzarote. Uh, anywhere. Hello, Julie. Got seven on now. Keep it in the like button. Hello, Penny. Keep it in that like button. It'll start waking people up. I'll let you. I'll show you where I am. I'm on a beach called Playa Grande. How hot is it? Um, we spotted before. I think it was. It said 20, 29 before. I'll show you where we are. This is Playa Grande. Uh, first impression, Lanzarote. Uh, the actual place is really nice. We went for a budget hotel, a budget apartment, but you'll have to watch out for that video. Um, ideal as a base, really nice place. Lovely swimming pool, nice staff. Food is a bit... Uh, but then again, we're out eating out tonight, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't beat Benidorm. Well, you know, you know what my feelings are at Benidorm. But I can't just, the, the channel's called Who Knows Where, it can't just be Who Knows Benidorm. Right, hit the like buttons. Come on, keep hitting those like buttons. Let's get a few more people up. We've got 19 on at the moment. So hello, Joe, and hello to Michael. Right, I'll start a little bit of a walk, show you a bit more. I was hoping to get a sunset tonight, but it's very hazy, so I don't think we'll get one. We might get one, but you won't see the sunset. Try and show you the beach a bit while we're walking. Good thing about the weather here is it hasn't changed. It's been like this uh, since we got here on Monday. That's the only difference. Benidorm weather can change overnight. Let's see. Oh no, I'm not doing that. The yellow submarine. What's just like Tenerife, Michael? Are you talking about Lanzarote? Or are you talking about um, Benidorm? As I just said, Julie, um, it's an all-inclusive complex. You'll have to watch out for the video. Really nice. The apartments are very dated, but I think a lot of them are dated here. Uh, from what I can gather from what we see when we're walking around. Uh, really nice, nice place. Uh, very hilly Lanzarote. I didn't realise how hilly it is. There's one we came down last night and we started at the top. And within about five minutes, we were in a canter and then we ended up jogging before we actually hit the beach. It was a very steep gradient. Uh, it was a lot easier going back. We were in a taxi. Good evening, Andrew. Hello, Susan. Hello, Michael. What Lanzarote and Tenerife are overrated? First time here, I can't really judge it. Uh, where we are now, um, Player uh, Grande, it's very Irish. We've spotted probably 10 Irish bars in a row. We'll come and pass one now. Yeah, it changes every five minutes, Penny. I've said those to Susan, haven't I? Yeah, very rocky. Yeah, I don't know. The sand, on the, we were on a, a beach yesterday called Playa Chica. Um, and that was just ordinary sand. Hit those like buttons for us, let's see if we can wake a few more up. Apparently it does make people, or does contact people or notify people. See what I mean behind me? McCool's Irish Bar. Pouring down again. 
God. You're going live from Delamere Forest. <laughs> you can't wait. Yeah, the thing is, I'm looking for places that are really cheap and the flights are really expensive wherever you go now. We're coming into the time of the year now, May onwards. The flights are expensive and I'm finding now, if I go on me five hotel breaks to somewhere, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is fine. I can normally get a good priced hotel. But come the Thursday, because of the stags all dropping into the countries, that's all I can say is stag and hens, it must have something to do with that. I've noticed the Thursday price is like double, and then when it goes Friday into Saturday, let's just give you an example. I was looking at a hotel for next week, which I can get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now listen, 58 pound, all inclusive. I'm not telling you where it is, you'll have to wait. 58 pound, all inclusive. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, it's 160 pound, all inclusive. Friday, it's 608 pound, all inclusive for the same hotel, for one night. Hello from Japan. Your name is Kuromotoki. I hope I've got that right. Hello from Japan. You like coffee. No, went back home. Went back home from Alicante. I go back home every uh, Saturday and fly back out. Got to do me washing somehow. Hello, Moya. Hello, Funky. Yeah, so those prices, how can they be 50 something pound one night? And then when it comes to the Friday, 600 quid for the same hotel, for the same room. And I thought that was, a, I'll be honest with you, I actually thought that that was uh, a mistake. But every single hotel in the same resort had gone up. I'm gonna have to keep talking because we're going past uh, a beach bar that's got music blaring out. I'll try and show you the beach bar if you can see it without the, see, you can just see it. Yeah, so, um, that's what happened, the prices. Like 12 times the normal price of midweek. <sighs> no, we haven't really done a lot because we're on the complex, um, which is a bit out of the way. It's quite up the hill. Uh, as I say, we went to play a Chica yesterday. We're down on Playa Grande now. We're going to go for an Indian in a minute. That's a meal, not a person. Um, here's bar Route 66. If anybody knows exactly where we are. Right, I'm going to turn you around and show you the front. So you can see where I'm walking. There we go. So you might spot it now if you can see exactly where I'm walking. Doesn't matter where you go in Spain, there's motorbikes. Right, can we all hit that like button again, if you would please, see if we can get a few more on. Only 26 on tonight. I think we had 72 when we were doing Benidorm. All of them are obviously not that popular. I was talking to somebody else in the hotel today, and they said they've been coming here 20 years, and they don't think they'll come back because they've seen it change over the 20 years of coming here. 
and it's changed for the worst. So I can't really comment on that because I've never been. Seems okay to me. It seems very much like a mini Benidorm. Hello, Fozman. It just seems like, well, this beach looks like a mini Benidorm on the front, except there's not as many, I'd say, loud club bars as Benidorm. The more restaurants and cafes. So I'm asking, you're asking me questions, I'll ask you some. Where are you all going this year? We've got 31 people on. You must have somewhere planned, even if it's a day out. Tell me all I can say is it's my first time here. I've been here, what, literally three day, four days. The hotel, as I say, it's like an apartment, uh, apartment hotel type of thing. You've got your own little mini apartment and um, the place itself, nice staff, the rooms were clean, um, nice swimming area, nice bar area, barman is brilliant with everybody. Uh, the food, it's like as though they recycle the food, that's the only thing I've got a quarrel with. So we've got No, it's not full of boozers. Costa del Cluid. Oh, I've been there. Oh, Fozman's going on a cruise. Off to Corfu next month. New York is September. Good evening from Cape Town, South Africa. Hello, Andrew. Off to Krakow. Well, Andrew, you know exactly. We've got two Andrews on. We've got Andrew Jones as well. Uh, well, you know what I'm like with Krakow. I just love the place. Been there loads of times. Maybe Port Maddox. Do you know what, Penny? I'm thinking of it myself. Off round the Pyrenees. By the way, I haven't asked you. What's the signal like? I haven't asked you what's the signal like, what's the sound like, because I don't know. If we have dropout areas here, we do in Benidorm, and they, uh, it looks clear to me, but it could be fuzzy to you. <laughs> yes, Tommy, that's the problem. That is the problem with the kids, isn't it? The prices. Well, you've got a couple of kids, it does not make a difference. I don't think we're going to get a sunset. I think it's too hazy for a sunset. Bournemouth and Weymouth. Signal's fine, that's what I like to see. show you the beach from here now. Oh, that's all right for some people, isn't it? Let's go, Bricho. Travelling everywhere. A lot of volcanic rock around here. Everything seems to be made of it. The walls, the buildings, even the hotel is made of volcanic rock. Okay, well there's your sun, but it's very hazy. I was hoping to show you a nice orange sunset, but
Let's go, Brecha was my son, by the way, he's skitting. Try and show you a bit more. The problem along here is we've been warned if you go on the side where the bars are and the cafes, you literally get dragged in constantly. So they just keep annoying you to come into the bars. That's why I'm staying on this side. All the profs are out to try and get you to go in. It's like that nearly everywhere. You'd stay in Benidorm. But I must admit, where we're, where we're staying, there's literally one bar outside the hotel, uh, which is not a lot to do, so we have to travel down here. But at least we found this place rather than wait till the last night, because that's what normally happens when I go new places. I normally find all the places to go when I'm due to fly back home. Isle of Wight, I wouldn't mind going there myself, Julie. I think I've got a touch of hay fever as well because my nose is dripping and the eyes watering. It is a nice place. I'd have to say it's not Benidorm. Definitely not. Nowhere near similar to Benidorm. But that's why it's Lanzarote. A totally different place, Di different feeling. It doesn't seem to be as rowdy, to be honest. I know we're not into the weekend, and I don't know what happens the weekend. But if the prices go up the way they look on the brochures um, or looking on the internet, then that might keep a lot of people away for the weekends. If not, is it worth flying out four and a half hours for a weekend? Hello, Swamp Thing. Here we go, watery eye again. Tell you what all these things to sit on with volcanic rock they're not comfortable um yeah hit the like button again come on everybody keep hitting those likes got 35 on now i made up the signals okay because i thought we might not get a signal here or it would have been really pixelated No, that sunset definitely isn't going to happen. Yeah, I, I flew back from Alicante on Saturday morning and flew out Monday afternoon to Lanzarote. Next week, um, I fly back home Saturday late. I think we get back into Liverpool around about 11 o'clock at night. That's on Saturday night. And then watch out for next week because I'm flying out to Mallorca on Monday. And I'm hoping to do five hotels in Mallorca. Go on, Swamp Thing, enjoy it. Definitely, Paul. Definitely more laid back. This is like. Just sit, chill, eat and drink and watch the world go by. It's a lot nicer, it doesn't seem very hectic at all. Hello Naughty Fox, hello Janine. Yes, definitely skyrocket prices. So I think um, once I finish... Where am I, what am I doing? Mallorca. 
and I think I've got one more trip ready to go after that. I think after that I'm going to be heading closer to home because the prices are now getting ridiculous. My grandson's waving at me at the screen. Hello. Hello, Henry. Why is the math master in Mallorca? Yeah, but he flies in and out quick, doesn't he? By the time I get there, which is Monday, which is another four days, he's probably gone. Do you know what? I never bump into other vloggers. I've never blunt. I've never blunt. I've never bumped into any vlogger except Lucy and Benadorm. Uh, the problem with Mallorca is the prices. I'm looking at the prices now and they are moving. As I said, I've just told you, one of the hotels that I'm looking at in Mallorca has gone to 600 and I think it was 608 pounds for Friday, Saturday night. Uh, just when you finish this vlog, if you've got, a, got your laptop out or your computer, just go on to any of the booking agencies and look for the price of a hotel in Mallorca Friday, Saturday. So you stay on Friday night, leaving so, uh, leaving Saturday. Just have a look at the prices for one night. You'll be shocked. So I'm going to have to manipulate myself while I'm over there. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I could end up in a, um, a hostel with 20 other people just to get the last night out the way. We'll have to see. I haven't booked it all yet. I always leave it to the last minute probably going to come a cropper one day. Oh, he's there all week. How much what? Moya, how much? You just said how much. I don't know what you're talking about because I've got different conversations going on at once. Oh, you're saying how much to the £608? Yeah, one of the hotels I was looking for, 600 pounds. I've got to show you this hill. This is the hill we came down last night. I've got to show you this hill. You'll love it. That's the only thing I would say about um, Lanzarote. Mobility issues. If you have got problems walking, it's definitely transport. You definitely either need to hire a car or get a taxi. I'll turn you around now. Have a little look at this hill. This is the one we started walking down. We started walking down that hill and within a couple of seconds we were running. You can see people there trying to push themselves backwards to keep themselves upright. Yeah, definitely Pippa. Hello, Lynn. Do you know what? In general, I think Spain are pricing themselves out totally. Oh, by the way, I read again today, it flashed up today, um, that they are thinking of bringing in a law, and I don't know why the price, but you need to have £97 per day to enter into Spain. Now, I don't know why £97, but they're thinking of bringing it in. So if you're here for a period of time, you have to show that you have got £97 to live on each day. Now, I don't know what that figure means. So how do you show that? That's what I want to know. So if you enter, say I landed in Alicante, how would I show that I've got £97 per day for a fortnight? That's what I don't understand. But that flashed up in the news today. I've said this before. If they're wanting me to stand in Alicante Airport and show my bank statement, I think they can think another thing.
I know they're ridiculous, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is very steep. Talking to Swamp. Thanks, Lynn. Julie, you're loving this video. Even the all inclusive, you have to show bank balance or cash. Well, I think we'll all just be taking a wad of cash with us, won't we? Alison, yes. The thing is, if they start pushing stupid laws like this, say for instance Spain, are people actually going to do all this or are people just going to say, let's go somewhere else? They are, Pip has aired it as well. Um, so you basically got to have £1,200, if £1,400, my maths were wrong then. You basically got to have £1,400 for a fortnight on you. Now, if you take a card, how do you show that on your card? Unless you show your app on your phone, your balance. Probably that's the way you could do it. But I certainly ain't pulling out a statement to say what I've got in the bank. Correct, Rachel. I don't think you're going to be standing there showing your money to a complete strange person that you don't know. Okay, they might be a customs officer or whatever. They might be uh, border control. They still don't have a right to know what you've got in your account. <laughs> yeah, but if you're all inclusive, does that matter? I'm talking to good luck. If you're all inclusive, does that matter? Because are they going to say that you still have to have money? Oh, you know, you might be all inclusive, but do people not spend a penny when they're all inclusive? Yeah, Swamp, if they bring it in, I, I think there's going to be a lot of trouble because what happens when you get to the airport? You've had your flight out using Spain again. You've had your flight out to Spain. You're at the airport. You're waiting to enter the country. You haven't got a flight back for two weeks. And you haven't got a bank balance to show them. All you've got is 50 euros and a credit card. Are they going to put you on another plane and pay for that flight back? Or are they just going to keep you there for 14 days and wait to return you back? How is it going to work? Because people may not have that cash. Are they going to physically go with you to a point, uh, a cash point, so they can look at your balance on the screen? Can you see how this is going to work when you've got 10 flights coming into an airport with 250 people on a plane? You know what I mean? You've got 2,000 people going through customs and they're checking everyone's bank accounts. It's going to take you a week just to get through border control. Hello Elaine, doesn't matter if you're late. <laughs> yes, I've heard that one as well, Brummy. Apparently there are um, anti-tourist protests going on in Spain and apparently there are uh, graffiti scrawled at several airports telling tourists to go home. Do you know what? Do it. Please do it. Ban tourists from Spain. Please do it. I'd love them to do it. Do it. Do it tomorrow. Tell us all to leave the country. Ban us. And you know what? Give them three months. And in three months, they'll be begging us. Because did you not realise, without the tourism, they've got no economy. No economy at all. Can you imagine what are these hotels going to do? What are all these cafes? What are all these bars? All these people sitting here spending money. Ban the tourists, get rid of them. Rely on your own people to sit in these bars every single night and buy food, every single one of them. And go every week to hotels. Let's just see how long you last, Spain. Ridiculous.
Das wäre Miss Fox. Look at all these people. All these people sitting in all these bars. On double levels. Look, there's top bars as well. They're called tourists. I can't see how they're going to do it. But just try, just try it. Just try it. They were really struggling during COVID. Really struggling. And they were being supported by the government. Do you know what? I can imagine billions is spent each year in Spain by tourists. King Kong Kev, have you no money man? I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't got a clue. I don't know what it's all about. All I know is that there's graffiti at certain airports telling us tourists to go home. And uh, I think it was Pip has just said. Um, that there are protests in certain cities of Spain to get rid of tourists. So I don't know, don't really know uh, what's going on. And we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Uh, apparently Turkey is becoming the number one tourist destination. It's took over Spain. The only problem is it takes a few more. No, there's no way, Elaine. Well, the thing is, what are they going to support them for? What exactly would the government support all the bars, all the cafes, the restaurants, all the shops? What are they going to support them for? And, and if they do support them, till when? Because if they don't want the tourists here again, there's no one ever going to come here. What exactly is going to happen to these places? And how much will the tourists, how much will the government support them? And as you say, how long for? I think it's all uh, hot air at the moment, to be honest with you. Try to get down to Playa Blanca. Is that the next one down, Sharon, is it? I know there's another one further along, but we haven't got that far. 47 people on, hit the like button. I'm going to take this up to about uh, probably 50 minutes tonight, because I'm starving. And this eyes watering all the time, so. I don't know, Elaine. Do you know what? Let's just wait and see. I can't I just can't see how they do it. Why why just Spain? Italy, Greece, none of them are moaning. So why does Spain want rid of tourists? I always remember years ago, I'm going back a long time now, uh, Falklands War, if anyone's old enough to remember the Falklands. I was in Benidorm, surprise, and I was walking along, um, not far from the Solana Hotel, the Pelicanus, and I was spat in the face by a Spanish woman because of the Falklands because I was English and obviously then being Spanish supporting Argentina uh, I was spat in the face and that's what they thought of us then oh Penny has got Penny and, and Moyes hay fever's kicking off we're going into that time at home now aren't we show you some more I'm just that sunset disappeared by the way there wasn't one even though I was trying to show you it's still lovely the beach though isn't it no Tommy I've had a peaceful four days not one person has come up to me <laughs> 
I didn't think that was going to happen. I think someone else is on uh, the internet behind that guy, as you can see, just there. He's screaming at the screen. He's been on for about 20 minutes. Oh, I don't know, Airy Lane, I'm not sure. I'm new to this totally, googly, googly. Well, that wouldn't surprise me, Pippa. Yeah, this was all because of the... Uh, Port Stanley and the Falkland Islands, that's why um, That's why they decided that uh, the English people weren't getting treated very well while we were there Right, I'm going to walk a little bit further up this way, I've not been up this way, it looks like some shops So, take a walk up that way Can I review the Grand Inn? It's been done to death in Scarborough. If you just Google it, you'll see it's been done about four million times. Doesn't seem worth the journey, to be honest. Well, true, yeah. Take his knee, you. Hello, Karen. Welcome to the channel. I think I'm coming up to where more of the shops are, if you know, not just the little shops. I can see a massive supermarket in front and there's a Chanel shop here. Perfumery. and a clobber shop called Trends. I've not been up this way, so I don't know where I'm going. I think we're coming away from the beach, from the food. Soko Shopping Centre. Indian dish. Now, I used to love, um, sh oh God, they don't do them anymore. Oh, Bombay Duck. I used to love Bombay Duck, they don't seem to do it anymore. It's just like being charcoal. If you can imagine crispy charcoal, it would taste gorgeous. Uh, shish kebabs, I love, and I always love, um, I've got, I've got brain dead, it's the sun. Uh, lamb tikka masala. I love the Indian with any dish Indian with lamb in. No, I'm not sick of Britannian hotels. It's just uh, I've looked up at the Scarborough one, and I, I've just seen so many vloggers have done it. Um, and does it need another one? No, it's not quiet, it's very busy. The beaches are busy, uh, the bars are really busy. It's just, it's more chilled, I think. It's ridiculous hot in the day. One thing I can say about this place is you guaranteed the weather. It must have been 35 today. It's really, you can only sit out or lie out. I'd say 10, 15 minutes and you can feel it there. And, but as you can see, I don't really sunbathe, so. And I've had factor 30 on all day. Turn you around there, you can see that. I can't go in because I'll lose the signal, but there's an Adidas shop. 
super dry. I'm advertising now, aren't I? Oh well, do you know what? I hope they do. Funky, I hope he does buy it. Joe, you know, these old buildings that Britannia take over are fabulous once you're inside them. They just need that TLC. I've said this in the other videos. What they seem to do is they concentrate on the communal areas and maintain them so they look fabulous. They look grand when you go in. And all of them are called grand. But once you get to your rooms, it's like as if they totally forget about the fact that it's a hotel. I'll turn you back around now, you're talking to the doorway. I think they get to the point where they forget that it's a hotel and they forget that people are paying to stay in the rooms. And as I've said, I'm not staying to look at a fireplace or a clock because you've polished it and you've kept it clean. I'm staying in a bed. Pete, Northern Ireland. No one said a thing to us. Staff in the hotel have been fired. I don't know if this is just all scaremongering. Um, you know what the headlines are like, don't you? You know what the news. They've got to, if there's nothing going on, they've got to write something, haven't they? Have I bumped into Walk on the Wild Side in Blackpool? Never done it, no. And I'm surprised because he's he's never out of Blackpool, so see what I mean? Chester. Yeah, you know, someone said what we're reading is not exactly what they're talking about. So I think what the, I think the, the um, media put a spin on things, don't they, to get a bit of reaction. I'm not sure, I've not seen it. I've seen a couple of, um, what are they called? I've seen a couple of, uh, there was like this circular thing, like like a Wehrlitzer, which is blown up. And they had loads of people on that with life jackets on and they were spinning them around. And then I've seen the banana boats and obviously I've seen all the divers going out. But I've not seen a yellow submarine going from anywhere. Unless I'm in the wrong part. Yes, usually blown out of proportion. I'll be very surprised if the £97 comes in and I'll be very surprised if they ban tourists from Spain. Yeah, the difference between Chinese and Indian is once you've met Chinese, you're starving 20 minutes later. That's what I always find. Hello, Catherine, from a very cold bridge end in South Wales. What's the weather like back at home, by the way? Has it changed? Because I know it's been raining for like the last 25 years, but has it changed? thought they wanted to get on. They were waving all of a sudden. Damping the... Yes, oh um, well, yeah, definitely. Clammy, cold. Oh, calm and cold. North Midlands. <laughs> hey, if I had one, I'd use it. The private jet between Blackpool. I don't just do Blackpool and Benidorm. I do Blackpool because it's convenient, it's up the road. And Benidorm, I like going because I get reasonable good uh, prices, whether it be a hotel or flights. Um, but if you look on the channel, I've been Belgium, Albania, Sweden. Uh, no one's even... Do you know what I did? Um, 
I did a hotel in Sweden, which was a jumbo jet, and hardly anyone's looked at that video, and I don't know why I got the keys to the hull of the hotel, which had 33 rooms in. I even slept in the engine. They took the engine out of a Boeing 747, or was it 757, 76, one of them, 77 something. Uh, they took the engine out and they put a double bed in and I slept in that. And I thought that was a brilliant, I absolutely loved the, the quirkiness of that sleeping in a hotel that was an aeroplane, a jumbo jet aeroplane. And I actually slept in where the engine would have been. Uh, and that was in Sweden and it was in the middle of the winter and it was cold. Um, but I loved it. But people just think I'm doing Benidorm and Blackpool. I've done Athens, um, Krakow, I've been to five I think, different places in Poland. And don't forget, the channel's only been going 11 months. I've even been real. I don't land done though. Right, I've missed so many of these, I'm gonna to have to go back a bit. Right, no, I haven't got a private jet. It's cold, oh no, cold but sunny in Plymouth for Tracy. Weather's changeable, mainly cold and wet in the Highlands, that's brummy. 70 shades of grey in Northern Ireland, this eye is watering again, and my nose is dripping. I always find April though, Moya, I always find April a damp month in the UK anyhow. It's very rainy. Rainy in the afternoon for Alison. Do you know what? I was frightened in Albania, I'll be honest with you. I got off that plane and I walked out and I must have looked like a deer in headlights. I was clutching me hold all like as though I was about to be robbed. Because uh, that's all I had, because I didn't even know where I was going, didn't even have a suitcase. And I thought to get the taxi, but I wasn't sure what I was doing. So I just seen a bus, didn't even look like a bus, looked like those 70s coach. And I walked up and I just, I knew I had to go to um, Skanderbeg, Skanderbeg Square. And I just said to him, Skanderbeg Square, and he said, yeah. I got on. I didn't have any Albanian lek. Uh, but he just said euros and took four euros and that was it. So I don't know how much it was meant to be. I just paid four euros and I ended up getting off uh, in Skanderbeg Square. And then from there onwards, I sort of realised that it was a tourist area and loads of people were just walking around doing the norm. So I, I sort of released me, me hold all of it and put it on my shoulder. But it was a bit scary at first, but you know what, they're just the same just the same as us really it's a bit strange watching kids in bars that school uniforms on smoking and um, that was a bit strange so I don't know what the smoking age is there but they were very young right oh Pippa's watched the jet one five days in Grand Scarborough yeah, see what I mean? Funky, exactly. Do you know what? I'd tell anybody if you want something different, something unusual, and the best thing about that jumbo jet is, it's on the runway. It's actually on the runway of, um, Albert, or what's it called? Alberta Air Force or something like that. It's actually on the runway and you can get the terminal bus it takes you to it and drops you off at the jumbo stay stop so there's a terminal bus in the airport that takes you to the hotel so you don't even have to travel hello brian you've come on a bit late oh did you receive a part uh did they um did they apologise? 
Yes, I'm not Did they apologise for the travel lodge? Yeah, sadly though, I was looking forward to going back to Ponson's this year and I didn't think it was going to close. I didn't, you know what, I said all along it, they needed to put a lot more cleaners in and go down with a lick of paint and a bit of cleaning. And, you know, it's, it was somebody's holiday. There's going to be thousands of people now that won't be able to go away this year because Ponson's has gone. Because certain people only have certain budgets and what, what they like is not always what we like. And I always said, sad, because I've had years and years of memories, even my own kids in Pontons. Um, you know, it's a cheap holiday. It's a really cheap holiday. I'm just looking at this beard. I haven't got a clue what it is. I've got to turn you around. How can anyone tell me what that is? <laughs> Julie, walk on the wild side. I don't really watch his channel, so I don't know. Dallas, in Dallas, is that where he is? That's not Blackpool. It's full of cockroaches. Used to take the kids one thing. I'll tell you what, our kids have had so many our kids have I always remember the children being on the stage uh, in all the games, joining in with the, the blue coats. You know, to kids it's an open area, it's got a swimming pool, uh, it's got play areas. You know they're fairly safe within the grounds once you're in the grounds. And it's something different. They're in a holiday home. Kids don't really care. Oh, so they apologised and you got your partial refund, so you're all right on that. I know what a beautiful beard that is. I haven't got a clue what that was. Well, I said I was going to do 45 minutes. I might as well do the other seven now and take it up to the hour. We've got 46 people on. I'll turn you around now and show you the beach again. And you know what? It's this time of the night now where it's there's no wind. And it's nice, it's, you can feel like just that coolness coming into the air and that heat's going away. There's a little breeze because I'm on the beach, but it's not cold. Yeah, it's again, isn't it? It's, uh, I'm talking to Alison now. Yeah, it's again, another Britannia. I can see the rest closing shortly. Yes, King, you can fly drones in Benidorm over the sea, not inland. And you do have to have a European uh, pilot license and European registration. So you can fly them out at the sea, pointing towards the beach, but you can't fly them over any of the hotels. And as I said, you can't, uh, you can't fly at all unless you've got a European pilot license for a drone. <laughs> Do you know what? Not every hotel, Brian, in Benidorm is crap. In Benidorm, in Blackpool is crap. Yes, there was a Pontons in Blackpool as well, but sadly that went many a year ago. I'll take a little walk down. That's the only thing I'd say about Lanzarossi is it is all hill from the beach up to the apartments and our one is right up. 
Um, watch out for that one coming on, by the way. I'll turn you back around. Watch out for that video coming on, the Lanzarote. The place is nice, staff are nice. The rooms are dated, really dated. But I don't know if that's part of uh, the accommodation here in Lanzarote. Uh, but the food, no. It's all inclusive. But when I tell you the price that we paid uh, for the Monday to Saturday, uh, with all your drinks as well, you'll see why I don't really bother about the food. I'm classing it as a base. Um, it's got a nice pool area. It's a nice base to sleep and have a shower. And you can eat out. There's plenty of restaurants. So I work into the fact of what we're paying per person per night. And you're getting all your drinks in there all day right through to from 10 o'clock in the morning till 11 at night if you really want to drink all day uh, that's all included in the price but you'll have to watch the video yes elaine the imperial is nice and brian have a little look at the video i've done the video yeah most of homes i've thought of one myself but have you seen the price of a most home you could probably have 20 holidays. <laughs> yeah, but you could at least watch the stars at night, couldn't you, if you had holes in it? Yeah, have a look at the uh, have a look at my video the uh, imperial hotel i did it in depth i got into places i shouldn't have been uh including function rooms and i did have a guided tour um around the turkish bats that was discovered by the general manager now i did have someone on last night from blackpool messaging me saying um why do i go to blackpool with the intention to just this all the hotels now i don't understand why people make statements when they've not looked at the channel i don't purposely go out my way to look for hotels i'm sick of saying this that or bad i look for reasonable hotels at reasonable prices and 99.9% .9 of the hotels i've found are okay some are really good some are brilliant and most of them are okay but I don't go purposely looking for the dingiest hole that I can find anywhere. Doesn't matter where where I go, over the world. Doesn't matter, I don't look for it. It comes to me. Now, this person claimed to be a hotel manager and asked me, did I uh, ask for permission to record within one of the hotels? So I just put back, is it illegal to record in a hotel? And he put back, no. I went, well, why do I need permission then? If it's not illegal, which I know it's not illegal, why would I need to ask permission? Bit of a silly statement, I thought. Yes, the Metropole was a Pontons Hotel in Blackpool. Lovely big hotel there. Uh, being used by the government at the moment, I think. Thank you, Swan Thing. He loves my chips. Joe, you know I'm thinking of popping into a, a Butlins this year if I can. Oh, I didn't know that one, Penny. Do you know what? Penny is. She's like an encyclopedia. Some of the information she tells me. Yes, Susan, you come on and I'll go in in about 40 seconds or something like that. Do you know what? Um, I think I, I failed there, to be honest with you. I think the fact that I told them I'd come to review the hotel, um, I think they panicked and just wanted me out. But I, I don't normally say that when I, I don't do that when I go into hotels. I don't even know why I said it this time. I think I was just looking for a reaction because the there was no excuse for that room in a way i wish i had videoed the flies to show you them 
Um, and as somebody else said, there wasn't just hairs on the bed. You could tell it had been slept in and it hadn't been changed. Didn't even get to the bathroom. But the whole of the uh, corridors and door frames and everything is just discoloured. You can see on the video, totally discoloured. Uh, and I don't know what's happened to it. I don't know who owns it. Um, it's a shame because I went to Tiffany's years ago, that hotel I went years ago, and it was lovely. What's that? I don't know, I don't know the UK. I think everywhere is changing, Mark. Everywhere. I'm trying to look at this because I'm getting uh, different conversations. People are talking to each other. I said this all along, Brian. If you're paying £50 a night for a hotel and you've got your breakfast included in that, I'm not looking for golden sheets. I'm not looking for a jacuzzi in the bedroom. I'm not looking for chocolates and champagne on the bed. I'm looking for a clean sheet. <laughs> Is it? You know, that's all I'm looking for. I'm looking for a clean sheet, hot water. I don't care about, as I say, I don't care about a piano in the hall of the hotel. I'm not paying for that. It looks fabulous when you walk in, chandeliers, looks fabulous. But let's just forget about what people are paying for, which is the accommodation. <laughs> yeah, Funky, you could see it straight away. Didn't you see on the video, I even put up on the screen, hesitation. Because I was standing looking at it, and do you know what? I got to that point where I just went, I've had enough of this. What am I doing? This is just a waste of time. I can't find an accommodation that's clean. I just thought, do you know what? I'm going. I'm going to go down, and I want just want someone to explain why that room was like that. And I was hit with a wall of silence, and I still don't know why she came out i don't even know why he went to speak to her i just what was the point of him going he might as well have just handed me the card machine with refund on he went into the back they were in the back for a few minutes i don't know if she was looking at me on camera or having a conversation or do, i don't know what she was doing but she come out and she stood directly in front of me behind the counter and never said a single word and I just got the cash machine with the refund amount on. So I looked at my first receipt, which I was going to show you, which was when I booked in, I paid. And it was 23 minutes I was in that hotel between when I paid and from when I paid to when I got my refund. 23 minutes. And I was, bye, ta-ra. Well, I wasn't even that. I was just silence. I had to say to them, is that it? and still no response so then i left it's a shame yes one thing i think people will start staying at home to be honest with you they're pricing themselves out looking at uh, benedict.com again i'm using it as an example i think sometime in july or august you're talking two and a half thousand pounds for a fortnight in um hardboard in one of the hotels a four-star hotel two and a half thousand pounds sorry go to thailand pay that fee of flights and pay 30 quid a night for a bedroom with a swimming pool yes moya we don't ask for much if you want to if you're going to pay 300 pound a night then you expect to receive something different that's what I say. If you're going to pay that, you'd expect to receive something no. different. Yeah, I would expect £300 a night. I would probably expect um, a coffee, a, you know, some super duper coffee machine, um, maybe robes, maybe slippers, um, and maybe a bottle of carver or something for that price, because you're paying more. 
But if you're paying 50 quid a night, just give us clean sheets, clean sheets, clean towels and hot water. Yeah, I would do. I, do, I mean, I don't tell it. I'm talking to Brian now. I don't uh, expect everybody to literally go out the way and start complaining um, about every single hotel. You know, some people might put up with pubic hairs in the bed. It's not for me. So I'll just smash the glass. Anyhow, I'm going to start bringing this to a close now because it's well gone past. It's well gone past the hour. Um, let's have a look at the last couple of messages. Birds singing. What are you doing, Michael Bublé? I don't know. No, Funky, I just think they've... Someone said to somebody the other night that because of the incident regarding um, a death there not so long ago, that I think maybe because she realised I was some sort of reviewer, they don't want to add any more bad publicity on top of um, what's gone on in the past. And maybe if you keep shut, then it can't be added to it, if you know what I mean. I don't know. You know, if she'd have just said to her, really sorry about this, um, would you like to check another room, you know, or I'll go and check another room for you and, you know, see if it's okay and blah, blah, blah. I don't even know why she'd have to check another room because shouldn't it be okay in the first place? Um, but just to hand the refund and not say nothing, I don't know. Right, I'm going to say to to everyone. Careful of the Britannica Encyclopedia. Am I off clubbing it? Do I look like a person who goes clubbing? I'm gonna go now, try and find me Indian restaurant. Uh, we passed a couple already. And then um, I'm gonna go to an Irish bar, I think, cause seeing that there's like 400 million of them here, I'm gonna go to an Irish bar and um, have a little drink, I think. Pubic here, that's Peter Rabbit's best friend. <laughs> yeah, probably. Goodbye, ta-ra everyone, night Julie, ta-ra Penny, ta-ra Andrew, ta-ra Pete, ta-ra Brummy, Julie, Pippa, Susan, Elaine, Moya, I think I might have missed everybody, I might have got everybody, Lynn, Mark, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog, um, share it by the way, once it goes up can you please share it so people who might have missed it tonight can have another look, and um, watch out for Saturday's video uh, sorry Sunday's video Sunday's video I stayed in the hotel in Liverpool so we've gone now from here to Liverpool and then I think next week is the start of my recent trip to Benidorm so those hotels will start popping up next sometime next week um, and as I said I'll probably do a live Thursday next week somewhere in Mallorca thanks for watching everyone I'll catch you in the next video. You're waiting for it? You're timing it? And bye for now.